I'll be replacing the rear derailleur shifter cable and shifter housing on a road bike. To release the tension from the derailleur, shift into the smallest cog. Clip the cable. Push the cable end out of the shifter. If it's stuck, you may have to use something to push it through. If you can't remove the cable because the cable end is not lined up with the hole where it should exit, try clicking the shifter again to ensure that it is in the position for the smallest cog. Some Shimano shifters have a cable cover. If you have Shimano components, go to their website and you can download detailed instructions about your specific models. I'll remove the adjuster for cleaning. I'll also remove the barrel adjuster on the real derailleur for cleaning. I'll use some white lightning clean streak to clean up the adjusters. I put a little grease on the stud that the adjuster fits onto. That'll prevent it from rusting fast. I'll apply some thread locker that breaks away with hand tools onto the threads of the bolt. The housing fits into this end of the adjuster and how it works is, is as this adjuster is pushed this way, it expands. So as the adjuster expands, it basically pushes up on the cable housing and makes it longer, which creates more tension on the inner cable. I'll flip it to the most compact position. After the first ride or two, the cable will start to stretch and I may have trouble getting into some of the gears. So on the fly, I'll be able to just push this and put a little bit more tension on the cable. I've installed the cleaned barrel adjuster onto the derailleur and I have it in the fully clockwise position. And this works just the same as the other adjuster. As you turn it counterclockwise, it pushes the center piece out because there's a spring in there. And again, it'll make the housing a little longer and put more tension onto the inner cable. It's now turned fully clockwise. And to allow for a little bit of adjustment of the gears later, I'll turn it about maybe a turn and a half counterclockwise. Shifter housing is usually four millimeters in diameter, but there are some exceptions that are five millimeter. It has strands of wire that run parallel with the housing. Brake housing has to withstand more stress, so it's coiled. Shimano recommends that I use their SIS SP40 housing. I'll be installing another brand of high-quality 4mm shifter housing. I'll install stainless steel cables. The ends are compatible with Shimano or SRAM. If you have Campanello, those ends are often a little smaller than these. Measure the old housing and cut identical lengths. You'll need cutters designed to cut shifting housing, or you could use a Dremel and a cutting wheel. The end of the cable should be cut squarely. The end should be round, not ovaled. In the center of the cable, there's a plastic liner. Open that up. You can use a piece of uh, solid wire or something else that's pointy. Install ferrules on the cable ends. If the housing is inside the frame, take an old cable 
and some sort of washer that will act as a larger stop. Feed it through the new piece of housing. Feed the end of the cable into the old housing that's inside your tube. Then pull the cable and it'll pull the old piece of housing followed by the new through your tube. I'll put a light coat of silicone grease on the parts of the cable that are covered by housing. I'll use 90% pure silicone waterproof grease that you can find in the plumbing section of your hardware store. If you're a purist, you can buy Shimano's silicone grease. There is a difference of opinion on whether or not to grease the cable. Some feel the plastic sleeve is slick enough and no grease is needed. Grease does attract dirt. For sure, you wouldn't want to use any kind of grease that could dry up and become sticky. Some cables are Teflon coated and some cable and housing sets are pre-lubed. Make sure that the cable head is fully seated inside of the shifter. If the new housings and cable are installed, I'll show how to use the barrel adjuster to put the correct amount of tension on the derailleur. If there is not an adjuster at the derailleur, look for one at the shifter. Before removing the old cable end, take note of its position. This derailleur has two possible positions depending upon which shifter is used. To give the cable a little bit of stretch and to seat all the ferrules properly, give it a tug. Take up any slack created at the derailleur. The derailleur moves back and forth to position the chain on the different cogs. Its spring pushes it in this direction. If you move the barrel adjuster in this direction, it adds tension to the cable and it pulls the derailleur in this direction. Conversely, Moving the barrel adjuster this way decreases tension and moves the position of the derailleur alignment in this direction. Begin the adjustment process with the chain on the largest chain ring. If you have a triple, put it in the middle chain ring. Since I haven't applied any tension to the derailleur, the chain should be in the smallest cog. The shifter should also be positioned for the smallest cog. Pedal and shift one click. The chain should move only one cog onto the second smallest gear. Be aware that your shifters may have the ability to quick shift and to shift more than one gear at a time. The chain didn't move so I know that I'll need to increase the cable tension. I've returned the shifter to the smallest cog position and I'll turn the barrel adjuster about one full turn in this direction to increase tension. It shifted into the second smallest cog, however it's a little noisy so I'll increase the tension a quarter turn until the noise stops. I'll continue to add tension until the chain makes noise again and that'll be when it's hitting the third smallest cog. Then I'll back it off 
a quarter turn until the noise goes away. It's starting to make some noise. And now the noise is gone, so I know that I fine-tune the cable tension. I'll test the shifting through the rest of the cogs, except for the largest cog. I've shifted to the smaller chain ring in the second to smallest cog and I'll run through the gears again. That's how to change out the shift housings and cable on a rear derailleur. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.